Hey folks, I'm gonna make a quick video here, but really I should say, hey ladies, guess what Big Daddy's bringing home? I'm bringing home two big huge bags of quality Uka Uka. Now folks, if you're not familiar, my ladies love to go to the Uka Uka shop, the thrift shop, the secondhand clothing shop. They love to go there and shop. The problem is, in my opinion, most of the Uka Uka shops in the Philippines, it's just junk. It's shit that Goodwill couldn't even give away, right? It makes its way over to the Philippines and they try to sell it. Well, here's the thing. I have a secret go-to little hideaway Uka Uka shop here in Thailand. I don't want to tell you where it's at, okay? I don't want to tell you where it's at because you're going to do a, do a run on it and then... Uh, Big Daddy won't have the options next time I come. Because throughout the years, this thing's been open for many years, I'll go in there at times, me and my lady, whoever it was at the time, we'll go in there and spend three, four hours and just go like this. You know how it is when you go to a thrift shop, right? And in the past, for example, I mean, I found brand new Columbia shirts with the tags still on them, you know, name brand stuff, brand new Under Armour stuff. Wherever they're getting their stock from, at least throughout the years, it was coming from like TJ Maxx, uh, you know, the stores in the mall, sporting goods stores that were, it was brand new stuff. Um, I don't know how they got it, but they were getting the, the creme de la creme of, of used clothing. And so we would go in there and spend hours and come out of there. Everything used to be 40 baht. Now, it's, it's went up to 50 baht, damn inflation. But it used to be, with today's exchange rate, about a dollar ten. Now back then, throughout the years, it say it's a buck and a quarter, right? But now, it's went up to 50 baht. Now the exchange, exchange rate's good here in Thailand, it's like 36 and something. Uh, but 50 baht is a dollar 37. So most of these items that I got, I paid a dollar 37, some of the, the pants and the bigger items were a buck sixty-five, sixty baht, but most everything a dollar thirty-seven. So you can't call it the dollar store, uh, but still, the bargains and the fines that I get in there are all of the expensive name brand type clothing. Not all of it, but a lot of it is. So you can just go through there and pick out Under Armour stuff. Some of it's lightly used. You know, some of it's got some stains on it. I passed that up. Uh, and occasionally I've, in the past, I didn't find any today, but in the past I found brand new, you know, $80 garments, garments with the tags still on it, uh, you know, for a little over a dollar. So I used to call it my 40 buy store. Now I guess I got to call it the 50 buy store. Hey, times are changing. So anyhow, I, I, what I do every time... I leave Thailand. I usually go over there to the Patty and Night Bazaar and I buy a bunch of scarves. We give them away to everybody. And I get them some stuff that says Thailand on it. And I was over there today and you know, times change, right? Used to, I went in there, there's nothing but Thai people. Now you go in there, um, there's people working in the stalls. I don't know where they're from, right? And so it's just not the same vibe. You know, I. I don't know. I'm living in Thailand. I want to talk to a Thai person. I don't want to go in there and try to bargain with, with a Chinese lady or somebody from India because it's just different. It's just different, right? And so I'm in Thailand. I want to talk to some Thai folks. By God, that's just me. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, I was like, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm not buying the same shit. I'm going to the 40 baht store and I'm going to load up whatever they got over there. <laughs> So I get in there, and there wasn't too much stuff for the babies this time. It was sort of slim pickings on the kids' stuff. But, like, I would say uh, maybe a little bit bigger than Maria, maybe, you know, eight, nine, ten-year-olds. I got a bunch of stuff. And I said, you know what, there's plenty of kids in the village that would love to have a brand-new shirt or, you know, fairly new shirt of good quality. Um... Uh, you know, Mel Jean's got a brother and a sister. There's plenty of people, right? So I said, you know what? I'm just shopping for the bargains. Whatever I come up with is what I come up with. And I thought about it on the way home. I said, you know what? 
What a great idea. I'm going to auction all this stuff off. And I'll just let me just hold the bags up here. Okay. I got two big old bags right there. Right there. Boom, shaka laka laka. Look at that, ladies. I got two big old bags of stuff. I think my total haul was 2870 bot. I don't know how many pieces I got, but I'm going to hold an ukai ukai auction when I get back. And I'm thinking that the three ladies in the auction will be Fatima, Kalamansi, and Flo. I might let Grandma in on the auction. Might be four Filipinas at the auction. Now what I'm going to do is just break out the Monopoly money. We got a Monopoly game, right? Break out the Monopoly money. Figure it up, you know, where they get equal amount of money. And I'm going to hold an auction. So if I, you know, I'm going to say, okay. And the first item up for bid. What do we got here? Check this out. It's an Under Armour, Under Armour like swimsuit, you know? I mean, excellent quality. Looks like it's never been used. Now this would probably fit Maria. Forrest G could probably wear it. Maybe a little bit bigger child. But anyhow, folks, that's an expensive piece of clothing right there. You know, a lot of these resorts, when you go, uh, when you go to uh, these resorts in the swimming pool, you know, they enforce the rules. You can't get in the swimming pool with a t-shirt and jeans you got to have some type of swimsuit and the ones that we bought in the Philippines I mean I say not cheap but I mean you're talking six seven bucks for the cheapest of the cheapest quality and when you go to these shops in the PI it, it, it's always the cheapest of the cheapest crap sent from China it's just the way it is so the stuff that we bought for six bucks can't hold a candle to a true arm under armor garment that's shoot that's probably sixty dollars i don't know how much it is but anyhow the, the quality is obviously going to be a lot different right so anyhow i give them the monopoly money sit them down and i'm gonna hold it up and say all right first item up for bid i'm just gonna hold an auction you know monopoly money start the bidding at one dollar <laughs> and see which lady's gonna absolutely have to have that item and I think it'll be interesting because they're not always buying for themselves you know they got to think about their family they got to think about the kids they got to think about cousins and so this right here is an excellent quality swimsuit that uh, you know you can't you can't find at an uka uka shop in the PI You'd have to go to the Under Armour shop and pay 60, 70 bucks for that garment. So moving right along, ladies, let me just give you another sample. Now, I'm not sure the brand of this thing, but check that out. That pink, like a little stretchable, that's going to look good. It's got a little fringe right there. That's going to look good on one of you ladies if you are the highest bidder. You know, just, just good. Like this is a New Balance uh, material. I got everything from Adidas to Under Armour, that dry fit stuff, all kind of stuff in there. I've also got some stretchable pants, ladies. Now, Fatima, I know you're going to want to be the highest bidder on those stretchable pants. I've even got a couple of jean, see them, them jean uh, vests right there for the ladies. I got one with some American flag looking stuff on it. You know what? I'll, just, I'll give you a quick gander right here. Check that out. That's some evil Knievel stuff right there, folks. One of you ladies is going to look good riding on the back of my motorbike when I buy one. And I'm going to tell you what. This right here. Boom! Steelers jersey. Look at that. That is excellent quality. Basically brand new. Uh, there you go. A little bit big for Forrest G probably fit Mel Jean's brother perfectly or one of the young men in the village so that's what I'm gonna do ladies Big Daddy's bringing a suitcase full of ukai ukai but you can't touch it you got a bid on it at my auction and each garment will go to the highest bidder that's the way it's gonna be each lady starts out with the same money 
If y'all run out of money at the end, I'll give the rest of it away, or maybe I'll run another auction with different full penis. I'm an absolute genius. So ladies, you know, Big Daddy's coming home, but look at that, look at, look at all this good stuff. But it's not gonna be a free-for-all when I get there. It's gonna be a competition. It's going to be an auction. My gosh, look at all this good stuff. I mean, I'm talking all kinds of sports gear. What is this? Some type of dry fit. Looks like it's never been worn. Anyhow, what's this? What's this, ladies? Is that for the ladies right there? And that might be for Maria. Folks, stay tuned. Stay tuned. For the auction featuring a house full of Filipinas. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. Sometimes I amuse myself. I just thought it just popped into my head on the way home. Like, well, why give it to them? Gotta make them work for it. And again, if they bid it up and run out of money, I'm not giving the rest of it to them at the end of the auction. There's something else gonna happen with the rest of the stuff. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Really, I made this video for the ladies. I'm not gonna tell them about it in conversation. They're just gonna see it once I hit post on this here video. Folks, thanks for being a loyal viewer here on my channel. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out, my friends.